Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world, wherever I'm seeing you for the first time on this video. Hello! Thanks guys. I want to thank you. Almost 3,500 subscribers. It's crazy and it's because of you. I'm one person in this community. I see how you guys communicate and talk with each other in the comments. I love it. I communicate in the comments too. It's a safe place. And though we don't always agree, we disagree respectfully. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that, guys, so much. I, I really am so proud to be part of a community that is so positive because I am very much aware of what goes on online. So, in that spirit, let's rip apart Gypsy Rose Blanchard. <laughs> guys, you guys have tagged me in a million different directions. I might as well be one of those dolls that go like that. And it's fun because I don't have a lot of compassion for Gypsy. And I don't have compassion for her because she insults my intelligence. Uh, I'm not going to speak for everybody. I can speak for me. She insults my intelligence by trying to convince me that she's learned from her mistakes, that she really didn't do anything wrong except everything except the actual act of doing that. If we're to believe that part of what she's talking about, she's somebody that I can't tell if she's telling the truth or not excuse me and I think she just uses people and when she doesn't want them anymore when they are no longer of interest when they are no longer shiny and new she discards them and that's what she's done with Ryan that's what she did with Nick that's what she did with Dan and that's what she's gonna do with Ken again she does not know how to love because she doesn't even know who she is she doesn't know who she is. You do know that it wasn't long ago that she was fighting with Christy and Rod about getting money so that her and Ryan could have their own nice home, right? She was talking about having children. She was talking about how much uh, we should be envious of her life and we can't touch that. In the meantime, all this smoke and mirrors, you know, her dad gave her marriage a 50% chance. But I got news for you. We tend to give 50% chance of marriage success nowadays because about 50% fail in divorce, which is really sad because people just don't fight for each other. And, uh, you know, a lot of times people make permanent decisions over temporary situations. So we need to be careful when we behave like that, you know, there is a temporary crisis. We don't need to make a permanent situation about it. We just, we gotta, we gotta wait before we act. So Gypsy, as we know, let's start off this because this is what I keep getting. So I just want to kind of clarify her love life for somebody that was like stuck in a wheelchair claiming to be a certain age. There's so much online that neighbors knew how old she was. She knew how old she was. When she was 18, she knew that she was 18. So this crap about later didn't exist. Didn't exist. The reason why uh, Didi never called the police when Gypsy went running away and disappearing at the Comic-Con was because she was about 18. She was 18. When she went to the hotel room to say that Dan had uh, taken advantage of a juvenile. She wasn't a juvenile, so she didn't call the police. Come on. Somebody with Munchausen by proxy, if we were to believe that, didn't call the police when somebody deflowered her child? Come on, man. It just doesn't make sense, right? So it must have been, one, that she was 18, and two, it was probably something that Gypsy wanted because Gypsy was kinky. Now, where that came from, I have no idea how. I mean, she must have been born with some hypersensitivity and sex was one of them is all I could figure out because 
when she does uh, the accusation, he she is accused her grandpa. I do kind of believe that. I don't know. Something's just up. She was already into role play. She had sent Dan pictures. This wasn't for Nick. It wasn't to meet Nick's personality. It was something that she probably brought out in Nick, you know. So she goes for Dan. She thinks she's in love with Dan. Finds out that Dan can't offer her the life that she wants doesn't run away with Dan because Dan's also the guy that was supposed to take her on the ranch in Arkansas but who was on probation uh, and couldn't leave anything and was married with kids and has a drug problem where he sells them. So that's what his incarceration is about. If you look it up online, I think you're going to see that. So then you see where... Uh, Dan, so she's kind of done with Dan and she speaks to a few other people supposedly. And then she finds Nicholas and she romanticizes Nicholas who has autism and honestly can be manipulated pretty easily if that's the only person speaking to him in that ear. He's not telling his parents, he's not telling anybody else what's going on, what Gypsy's telling him. And she and he is believing what Gypsy is telling him, and that his his crime is believing what Gypsy is telling him, and believing that the only way to save, to save this woman, and maybe she even because there's, Gypsy also could have said, "My mom has cancer, and this would be, you know, a mercy unaliving," and supposedly she says, "And by the way, I was." pregnant and because my mom with the feeding tube I lost the child and so we don't really know the truth of what she tells Nick but she convinces him and sets it all up as we know there's no question about that she sets everything up everything except supposedly does the act itself and we're not too sure about that we're not too sure honestly that Nick does it either right we're really not then she no longer can use Nick because now Nick's locked away for life, right? She's Nick's locked away for life for somehow she's getting out in eight and a half years. She gets out, but before she gets out, she supposedly hears from about 250 people and only a handful of them come and actually spend time visiting her. And of course, what she wants is money and everything while she's in jail. So... The one remaining one was Ken, and that's who she loved and thought she loved. And then I guess Ken said, oh, I can't do this because there's just too much, and I don't want to be known for being your husband because, you know, you're kind of infamous. You're not really famous. And so Ken's mom, I believe, uh, and Ken say this is too much, but, you know, love will prevail. So then she finds Ryan who is willing to do anything in the world for her, regardless. He is willing to do anything in the world for her. That's exactly what she needs and an address to get out of jail early and doesn't want to live with her dad or her stepmom. So, Ryan, to the rescue. And now, five months later, Ryan's of no use to her. She's supposedly back in touch with Ken. And we're going to wait and see the next of the next of the next. And supposedly, Gypsy Rose is living down in the bayou. Uh, And I don't say that to make fun. I love that accent. I love the Louisiana bayou bayou accent. I love it. Um, I can't do it, though. (laughs) It's a very hard accent, I think, to do. But guys, that's where she's at, supposedly living with Rod and Christy. I don't know. How long do you think that's going to last? This is just the gossip on it. For real, we're not going to know anything. We're really not going to know anything until Nick finally says, what happened? Like, what happened that night? We're really not going to know. And then, truthfully, we're only going to know Nick's recollection and his recall 
his uh, skewed view while he's th- he was there in the middle of it all. And because Dee Dee isn't with us, we will really not know what happened that night. But we know what happened subsequent that night. And we know what kind of person Gypsy Rose is by Gypsy Rose showing us what kind of person she is. Guys, be anybody in the world. Do not be Gypsy Rose Blanchard. What do you think is going to happen? I think that probably Ryan signed an NDA, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to keep him stumped. Because he's the type of person, if you mess with his pride, he's going to find a way to make sure that you know it. So guys, tell me what you think. Tell me if you want more videos about this. This is kind of lighthearted simply because this is basically just gossip. But it seems to be something you guys want. It's certainly not near as dark anymore because I'm really not talking about the crime of what happened. So talk to me about it. Thanks again for everything. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, and share. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Be better today than you were yesterday. Not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Thanks, guys.